Hey guys, you are on the IT Reviews channel, I'm Masha and let's talk about screen capture and recording software for Windows and Mac, called Snagit. At first, it may seem that there is nothing to explore with these types of apps, just open, take a screenshot and that's it. In rare cases, also highlight the area you want to capture. But not so simple with Snagit. Although nothing superfluous, yet really useful features. Well, let's get started. Firstly, I'll download the application. I will leave the link in the description as usual. I immediately see two main buttons – free 15-day trial and buy now for $62.22. Choose the operating system – I have Windows 10 Pro – and wait. The program supports six languages. In additional settings, you can change destination folder, untick features and share destination. Then Snagit collects the information about the aims of using and welcome. After installation, you can find the app in the right menu of the window toolbar. Open and see a small menu. Go to Edit. Here we can propose to show the screenshot after its creation, add media to the clipboard, display the cursor or the capture and wait 5 seconds after pressing the record button before the screenshot is taken. To reset settings, click on the arrow in the upper right corner. In the photo section, you can precisely specify the area of the screenshot. The default is the area that the user selects when taking a screenshot. You can make it fixed. Other options – Window, Active Now with the ability to select manually or fixed size, Full Screen, Scrolling Window – Attention allows you to take a screenshot of the entire page, for example, the entire website. You can also select a screenshot of the active window or window of your choice. Panorama – takes a screenshot with scrolling to the selected area. Grab Text – also a cool feature of the application that converts the text from the screenshot to the text format. Let's take a quick look at the effects. You can apply several effects at the same time. To do this, select Add another effect at the end of the list. For a screenshot, you can set a frame of any thickness and color. There are three filters with intensity settings – monochrome, grayscale, invert colors. A shadow out of the image with location, color and size settings. Capture window for putting basic information on the image. Color Replace – you can select colors in the image that you don't like and replace them with the suitable ones. Scale Image – by percentage to a specific way, height and size. Edges – with customizable styles, borders and position. Trim – automatically or manually. Color Adjustment – brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, gamma. Rotate image, watermark, you can select your own file and adjust position, site, blend mode. And the last one is image resolution. The last menu in the left column is video. All the tools are already familiar to you, except for one – webcam recording. You need to select the camera itself, the location of the recording on the main video and the size. Interestingly, you can create preset from all the listed settings, create a separate menu with them, set hotkeys for recording with a specific preset and edit the settings. For example, my preset for video recording – no preview, copy to clipboard, display cursor, no 5 second delay and F1 hotkey. This setting I can change, rename, duplicate, delete and even export as a file. Now let's see the magic that happens immediately after taking the screenshot. We have a whole range of options for editing our photos. So I go to the site where I will take the screenshot, in my case it's a site of things that don't make sense. I mark the necessary settings, preview, copy to clipboard, remove the cursor and remove the delay of 5 seconds. Click on the red button and select the desired area. I want to take a picture of the whole page, so click on the arrow in the corner. It will allow me to scroll the sides vertically and horizontally. If I need only horizontal, click on the appropriate button. This is understandable. The screenshot is done, and I see it in some interesting editor. This is a built-in Snagit editor. I will edit the picture to show all the tools. From a regular screenshot, I want to create a minigame. I will edit the picture to show you all the tools. 
From a regular screenshot, I want to create a mini game. Its essence will be to dream up what is behind in future blurry pictures. Well, you already know it, so I will not play with you. But for an ordinary person who has not watched this video, it will be quite difficult to guess, since the objects are very unusual. I'll zoom in to make it easier to work. First, I want to remove the text I don't need. I open the shape tool. Here you can select the desired shape and adjust the fill, frame, shadow, thickness and transparency. If I know in advance that I will use a certain colors, I can create the theme. This will make my future work easier. Theme, Museum, write the title, select colors with the eyedropper, palette or number. Fronts, really wide range for this kind of application. I can also add or remove the drop shadow. Now I see the style in the panel on the right. So to remove unnecessary text, I select a rectangle, draw it and double-click on it to edit it. I use a white fill and remove the frame. Ready. But there is more text that I don't need. I'll show you another way to get rid of it. More. Selection. Select the required area. In Select, we experiment with the slider and as soon as we see that the desired area is selected, check the outfill is on, not transparent and press the delete button. Done. The same trick can be done with auto selection of elements with the magic when tool. I don't need to change the position of the selection slider, but simply use this feature. Now, of course, instead of the previous text, I want to write my own. I choose text, playing with fantasy. Of course, I can change the fonts itself, its colors, torque, size, shadow, styles, transparency and position. To add another text, simply select the area where you want to add it. If I want to reposition the elements I've created, I need to open the Move tool and just drag and drop wherever I want. Now I will create a person who wishes good luck to the participants. I can find it in the Stamp section. Here I can choose from exciting sets. Here I can choose from existing sets, there are quite a lot of interesting ones by the way, or download additional sticker pack. Only 12 are free, for $49.99 you can get unlimited access to the stamp sets, photos, templates and themes. To stamps I would also include a separate step tool, which allows you to mark the order of actions with one click. But back to our man. For the selected element, I will remove the shadow and slightly reduce the opacity. This man must say something, so we go to callout. I choose a form and customize it for myself. White fill, black stork and shadow in the middle. The text with the wish of good luck is slightly enlarged. So let's make the game itself. I need to blur each picture. Choose more, blur and let's go. I can change the blur style and intensity. Since some of the squares are the same size, just copy and paste the blur. If you need to change the size, do it manually. And now to show that unusual objects are behind the blur, I will do the following. Temporarily remove the blur from one element, open more, magnify, select an item and done. A cloud with an increased size was created for it. You can choose a different shape or edit the stroke. Now I return the blur to its place. I think it's turned out quite interesting. After I blur the images, it seems to me that there is not enough yellow in the picture. I can add this color to the logo, for example. Choose Fill, Yellow color and fill it with a blue logo. Now it's not blue. My game is already done, but as I promised, we will consider all the tools. On the main panel we still have arrow. Everything is immediately clear. You can add arrows. Of the interesting is the ability to create the form you want. Check the box with your curve and embody your fantasies. You can adjust the arrow shadow, thickness, opacity and most importantly the shape and size of the beginning and end. From the same series the line tool. Here is the same menu as in arrow. Instead of underline, you can also highlight a single words with the highlight tool. If lines and arrows are not enough for you to be creative, you can select pen and draw the necessary element. And then move it if you put a tick of create as vector and smooth it. Of course, as is customary in Snagit, you can add a shadow, change the thickness, opacity and of course the color. If we go to the more section, we can see some basic functions functions such as crop. There is nothing unusual here and it would be nice to add templates, for example Instagram story, YouTube cover, etc. Cut on. 
allows you to tear the page in a certain place and make a certain shape. You can make it invisible or as in real life with scarce. By the way, you can create the shape of the scarce manually with the eraser. Of course, this is just one of the examples of using this tool. In general, it can be useful if you need to make some part of the screenshot transparent. The last thing we haven't covered in the toolbar yet is Simplify. With it, you can draw the layout of the current screenshot or create it automatically. I cannot say that this works well. To save the finished image, file, save as. And at the very button, Management of recent files. It can be hidden. The great thing about this app is that you can add text to your screenshots. Believe me, when there is a lot of media, you will also be thankful. To see everything in your collection, go to the library. By default, the application adds pictures and videos to the folders that match the Windows name from which your recording or photo was taken. You ask, what can be done with video recordings? I answer, it can be cut. You can also save it as a GIF or PNG. And that's good. The last issue that worries me about this application is support. How fast and helpful are the helper responses? Help? Technical support? I waited 24 hours, but the answer to my question never came. Pros and cons. I will say right away that as a user I have not encountered a single drawback in this program. Of course, we can flows and say, for example, that a. the application is not free and costs quite a lot $62.22 and b. few settings for video. But in concern to this, I will say, I believe that application is worth the money. And if you often need to make a screen recording for work, for example, then Snagit is a great investment. In addition, there is a 15-day trial period and you can try it and see for yourself whether you need it or not. And about the video, there are few settings, but they are still there. But I agree that for such a price, it would be nice to add a basic editor at least. And what is really strange, additional paid stamps. I think that $62.22 should have been enough. So pros, the ability to organize a workspace, create tags for videos and photos, make presets with hotkeys for quick screen recording, choose a style for editing in the editor, editing with interesting tools. Stamps, blur elements, magnifying, glass, color replacement, auto select elements, and many, many more. Camera and screen recording. Features even in basic functions, for example, a scrolling screen, auto detection of the recording area, and more. Alternatives. If you are looking for free or at least cheaper application, I can suggest some. OBS Studio is a free application for PC to capture any action that happens on the screen. In it, you can also perform basic editing and processing of the recorded video. The program also supports live streaming for which audio and video sources are configured, as well as the sound volume level, the need to demonstrate keystrokes and mouse clicks and other parameters. Ice Cream Screen Recorder with basic editing features free, limited version with a watermark on the video. $14.7 perceptual license for two computers. A simple desktop recorder for Windows, which is a licensed version allows you to capture a picture from the screen and sound from a microphone or system speaker. The program is designed conveniently without unnecessary options, even a beginner can quickly figure out how to start and stop recording. And screen recorder. It's a simple program for capturing video instructions from the monitor screen as well as video capture of live broadcast and webinars. With this handy tool, you can capture the entire desktop of its individual areas with or without sound, set a delayed start timer, adjust the display or the cursor, and draw directly on top of the picture. The resulting record can be edited to cut out unnecessary fragments, free with restrictions. Perpetual license. $39.95. Well, guys, that's all. If you like this video, please like and share with your friends. Of course, I'm waiting for your questions and suggestions in the comments. See you on this channel.